This is my thorough and complete step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this beautiful Celtic scarf. Welcome to part one, where we're going to create the rib section and special increase row that enables us to then move on to part two, the main Celtic cable repeat. Now there are written instructions and a chart to go with the series. So for this and for details on part two, see the description, Look out for my future uploads and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a stitch. I'm Maria May from The Casting On Couch and I can't wait to show you this. So let's begin. So this project is 26 centimetres, 10 and a quarter inches and each repeat is about 11 centimetres, just over four and a quarter inches. For this project, I'm using Freedom Wool it's a chunky yarn that requires a 10mm needle, so for results similar to mine, marry the ball band tension. With your 10mm needles, cast on 40 stitches. Now I've used the cable cast on as it gives a nice firm edge to the scarf. Make a note of rows 1 to 4 as we're going to repeat them to build up this lovely rib section here. Now row 1 is a wrong side row and we want to begin by knitting two stitches yarn to the front and purl one yarn to the back knit two one two Next, purl four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do five sets of knit two, purl two. So knit two. Purl two, so that's one set, knit two, yarn to the front, purl two, and that will be two sets. Knit two, purl two, three sets, knit two, purl two. four sets and finally knit two, purl two makes our fifth set. Next knit two and then I want you to purl four Now knit two, purl one, and knit the last two stitches. So that's row one completed. And again, that is a wrong side row. So let's turn the work. For the cabling, you can either use a cable needle or a double pointed needle. So in this video, my preference is the double pointed needle. Begin row two by knitting two. 
and then we're going to slip one knit wise so as if enter as if to knit and then simply slip it off the left needle bring the yarn to the front and purl two now get your cable needle we're going to do a two stitch right cross so the next two stitches slip them onto your cable needle and hold in the back of the work let's take the yarn to the back and we're going to knit the next two stitches from the left needle take the stitches from the cable needle and place them onto the left needle and knit those so that's a two stitch four stitch rather right cross now we've got five sets of a purl two knit two rib so purl two knit two that's one purl two knit two that's two purl two knit two that's three purl two knit two that's four purl two and knit two that's five five sets next purl two one two and again with your cable needle this time we're going to do a four stitch left cross so we want the next two stitches on our cable needle but this time we're going to hold them in the front of the work and then we're going to knit the next two stitches from the left needle and what you can also do is simply instead of placing them on the left needle we can just knit those two if you prefer but I'm a bit old school I like to slip them back onto the main left needle but that's an option there for you so that's a four stitch left cross now we're going to purl two And then we're going to slip one knit wise, so enter into the stitch as if to knit, but just gently take it off there and end the work by knitting two. So that's row two completed, that's a right side row. Now, what I want you to do is turn the work, and I want you to work row three exactly the same as row one. Now, for row four, we're going to knit two and then we're going to slip one knit wise, purl two, and next knit four, one, two. three, four. Now we've got five sets of purling two and knitting two. So purl two, knit two, that's one, 
purl two, knit two, that's two, purl two, knit two, that's three, Purl two, knit two, four, purl two, and knit two, being five. Next, purl two. And then we're going to knit four. We're going to end the work by purling two and then slipping one knitwise and knitting two. So that's row four. Repeat rows one to four to build up this rib pattern. But please note that in the sample that we're making together, I've only done one repeat. So as a comparison, you can see what one repeat looks like versus two sets of the repeat. Now, the next row, I'm going to call row one and I want you to repeat row one just as I've shown you at the beginning of this video. Now row two, this row we are going to increase to 42 stitches but otherwise it will seem very familiar to you. We want to begin by knitting two and then we're going to slip one knitwise, purl two, And then we're going to get our cable needle and we're going to do a four stitch right cross. So take two stitches to the back of the work, knit two from the left needle, and then place the two stitches from the cable needle onto the left needle so that you can knit those two stitches. So that's our four stitch right cross. So now we're going to purl two and knit two for two sets this time. So purl two, knit two, that's one set. Purl two, knit two, that's two sets. Next, purl two, and now we're going to form two increases, we're going to do a knit right, so notice I've taken my yarn to the back and what I want you to do is work into the back of the purl knob that's on the left needle, like so, bring the yarn around, pull through and then knit the stitch itself. So we've now got two stitches there from one, so that's a knit right. And for a knit left, first we knit the next stitch. And then I use the left needle to pull up this left leg of the second stitch down from the needle, three stitches down if you count the stitch you've just worked. One, two, three. So 
pull that leg of the stitch on the left needle and then we're going to work into the back of it knitwise. So where we had two stitches we've now got four, look, two, four. Now we're going to purl two and knit two for two sets. That's knit two, that's one set, purl two, knit two, that's two sets. Next, purl two, And then we can do our four stitch left cross this time. So take two stitches from the left needle and hold in the front of the work. Knit the next two stitches from the left needle. Place the stitches from your cable needle onto the left needle and then knit those. So that's a four stitch left cross. And if you notice, the twist is going to the left on the left cross and the twist is going to the right on the right cross. To finish, we can purl two. And then slip one knitwise and knit two and double check that you now have 42 stitches. Row three, a wrong side row, we want to knit two, purl one, knit two, and next, purl four, one, two, three, four, knit two, and purl two for two sets. So that's one set done. Knit two, Purl two, and that will be our second set. Next, knit two, and then purl four. So, one, two, three, four. So that goes across the back of the increases that we did on the previous row. Next, knit two and purl two for two sets. So that's one set. Again, knit two and purl two. Second set done. Now knit two and purl four. So that's one, two, three, four. Knit two. Purl one. And knit two. And that is our little rib section completed. We're now ready to go into the main repeat section.